Hey, this is Soldier7 here reporting for Right Wing Federation. In this video, I wanted to ask a question, and that is, what is up with price controls and taxing the rich? Granted, this is something I could have done before, or may have talked about before, or could have done a video on. Um, not that I haven't talked about it. I mean, obviously, I may have done videos where I've mentioned it or I've mentioned it like back in the old days when we did live streams when this channel first started out in 2015 and 2016 and so forth but uh, yeah we probably did talk about it at that time because you know we were always talking about how this channel the members of this channel how we supported free market capitalism and how we were opposed to communism and fascism and so forth. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, so the question is, is, yeah, what is up with price controls and taxing the rich? Like, seriously, I just don't get it. Like, seriously, what is up with price gouging, price controls, and taxing the rich? Or taxing the wealthy? What, however you, whatever you want to call it. And the reason why I ask is, yes, of course, I know this is something I probably could have done before, but didn't, or at least m just me doing a video about it. And so, and apparently I'm doing it eh, just in time for the U.S. elections of 2024, but yeah. But what I don't understand is, is like, th these are the same talking points I intend to hear from the same side of, of the aisle, the political spectrum, and out of the two major parties. Not, not, not that I want to make this about parties, but in all honesty, like seriously, why keep promoting something that doesn't work? Like, for example, price controls. We saw what price controls do historically and from what it's shown it doesn't work so why is that being promoted by for example like by Kamala and her VP pick for some reason why is that I don't know why are they promoting something that historically does not work because we saw what price what price controls do when they were promoted for example just to give one, in the 1970s under Republican President Richard Nixon, which continued under Gerald Ford and then continued under Jimmy Carter, and then it officially came to an end under Ronald Reagan in the 1980s when the economy started to recover, because, and it did. And then there's taxing the rich. Well, first of all, why tax? What's up with taxing the rich or taxing the wealthy? When first of all, um, it doesn't work, and it hurts a lot of rich people who may own businesses and they create employment. And not only that, not to make this about parties, but since we're just talking about the two major parties right now, but yeah, it comes. It mostly comes from left leaning parties, sometimes they're right, but left-leaning parties, but in this case, the Democrats. Why is it that this is the same talking points that I hear from them over and over again, like Kamala and so forth, where they talk about how Republicans only care about rich people and so forth, yet the majority of America's billionaires donate to their campaigns and to their causes, so I don't get it. Not all, but why is it that the majority of them do, and yet they turn around and talk about how we need to tax the rich and tax the wealthy, or we need to regulate the economy and so forth, have price controls, or tell people they can only charge this amount for this and this amount for that. I don't get it. And like I said, just to, not to get off topic completely, but yeah, that part about the out of the two major parties how it seems like most of the wealthy donors intend to go to democrats well that's kind of weird isn't it because a lot of the country's billionaires like george soros for example 
and tends to donate to them. A lot of people in Hollywood intend to donate to them. I mean, it's not that it isn't the other way around, but it seems like for the most part, when it comes to out of the two major parties, or even out of the two political spectrums, even though, like I said, I mean, being in the GOP doesn't necessarily make you right-leaning and so forth, because there are rhinos and so forth, but yeah, I'm not trying to make this about parties, but just to get to the point, why is it that it intends to be out of the two major parties, we'll just stick with that, why is it out of the two major parties the Democrats are the ones who intend to get donations from the, from the wealthy or from the rich. They intend to get more donations from there than the GOP. Why is that? Is it because of all these talking points, a lot of these, some of these billionaires support? Especially the fact that there's a socialist faction within the Democratic Party and they're more supportive of it? Well, because this may come as a surprise to you, I think one of the reasons why is because, and it's something we kind of got to think about coming into election, is that some of these billionaires and rich people and so forth are some of the most are strongly opposed to a free market economy. They don't think the market should determine prices and so forth. So. Yeah, a lot of them donate to these poli to these left-leaning politicians like Kamala, who advocates for price controls and talks about taxing the wealthy. Never, never mind, she gets plenty of money from the wealthy. She, I mean, she does. I mean, she and Waltz, her VP pick, who n not too long ago was in an apartment with with the son of George Soros, so what does that tell you? Some hypocrisy going on, or is it because some of these rich people who donate to them are technically don't like the idea of a free market economy, they want an economy to be regulated and so forth, and they don't like the idea of low taxes because it gives the competition a fair shot, and that's what brings me to not just the Democrat, but a lot of left-leaning parties in general, and why they get donations from the rich people, from rich people, and so forth. Not there's anything wrong with being rich, you know. As a, as someone who supports free market capitalism, I say yes, you should be allowed to make as much money as you want. And while I agree there should be some sort of taxation, yes, um, but I don't think that you should have to be taxed more just because you make more. Like I think, you know, you should just find a well-balanced taxation, you know, for everyone, the rich, the middle class, and the poor, and just have everyone pay that and have it go into whatever, whether it's for social security, welfare, military defense, a border wall, whatever. Hey, as long as, you know, it's done at a reasonable price for everyone and it's not too high, because I think, yeah, high taxes is not good, and I think that that's what a lot of these rich, I think that's what some of these rich people that I'm talking about support it, because as this may come as a surprise as some of the, some of the far left extremists out there, but some of these billionaires are some of the most anti-capitalist people you can find, because one of the reasons why they don't like the idea of capitalism is because they don't want to worry about competition, and I think that's why, yeah, they intend to support a lot of these left-wing politicians or left-wing people running for office is because they want to weep out competition. They think that these leftist politicians are the best way to do it. They don't like the idea of capitalism. They don't want to have to worry about competition. They want, they want, they want it all to be in favor for them. They want to have, you know, a monopoly over everything. And I'm not talking about the rich as a whole. I'm just talking about these particular rich people. As many people say that it's not capitalism what they're doing, it's corporatism, which is true. I first heard that from Ron Paul back in 2010, I think. But, uh, yeah. It is kind of something to think about since, you know, we are going into an election soon for the United States, that is. Um, it's not just a presidential election. There's some other stuff being held as well. I mean, there's some other elections occurring that may not 
be talked about or may not be mentioned as much, but yeah, that's something worth talking about. And um, yeah, I know it just sounds like I'm going on a rant, so I don't want to be too long, but um, yeah, I just got to ask, what is up with the these talks about price gouging, price controls, and taxing the rich, because it doesn't make sense to me, because these are not only that these are policies that have shown not to work, but some of these people, like for example, like I just was just talking about taxing the rich, a lot of these rich people intend to support politicians who advocate for this stuff. And I think that, you know, that's just something we're talking about. And I don't know, I just don't get it because almost every election year, even when it's not, even when they just go up to give a speech at a random time during the year, a lot of these left-leaning people, and like I said, there's occasional people on the right who do it as well, but like I said, it's the same talking points that I hear over and over again, and it just doesn't make any sense to me, and I don't know why the fuck they keep promoting it. I don't know. Why is it that they keep doing it? It, historically, these things do not work and they never show a sign that they are capable of working. So yeah, I, I don't see how they're going to work. They never have, and I don't see how they're, they're going to in the future. But anyway, yeah, um, not to go on a rant, this is just something I feel like worth asking real quickly, so yeah. The, that's it. Uh, the comments are open. That's almost safe right now. This is Soldier 7. Thanks for listening.